I thank the uh, gentleman from Florida for yielding, and I, do, I can't cover all the issues that are being raised here today, but I do want to say this. I spent seven and a half years as a criminal court judge in Tennessee before coming to Congress trying the felony criminal cases, and so I'm very interested in this uh, question about the uh, waiving of Fifth Amendment rights. And let me just uh, uh, t mention what some others have said about this. Alan Dershowitz uh, of Harvard uh, said that uh, Lois Lerner's statement of innocence opened a quote, legal Pandora's box. You can't simply make statements about a subject and then plead the fifth. Once you open the door to an area of inquiry, you have waived your Fifth Amendment rights. You've waived your self-incrimination right on that subject matter. Paul Rothstein, a, a well-respected law professor at Georgetown University, and both of these gentlemen are very, very liberal uh, politically. Uh, professor Rothstein said of uh, Lois Lerner that she run a very grave risk of having waived her right to refuse to testify on the details of things she has already generally talked about. She voluntarily talked about a lot of the same things that lawmakers wanted to, uh, that lawmakers wanted to ask her about in her opening statement. In that situation, when you voluntarily open up the subject they want to inquire into and it's all in the same proceeding, that would be a waiver. Cleta Mitchell, a lawyer who specializes in ethics laws, stated Quote, Lois Lerner came before the House Oversight and Government Reform Committee. She gave an opening statement in which she said, I'm not guilty. I haven't done anything wrong. The second way in which she waived her Fifth Amendment privilege was when she voluntarily, willingly agreed to meet with the Department of Justice lawyers. To me, this is a pretty clear case, according to uh, Ms. Mitchell, still quoting her, to me, this is a pretty clear case of how she has waived her Fifth Amendment rights not to testify, not to answer questions. She just is being selective. And the one place she will answer, not answer questions is with anyone that she thinks might ask her hard questions. Hans Van Spakowski of the Heritage Foundation, another legal expert, said, quote, under the applicable rules of the federal courts in the District of Columbia, the interview she gave to prosecutors meant that she waived her right to assert the Fifth Amendment. If we allow somebody to come in and say that they are not guilty, repeatedly say this, and say that they haven't done anything wrong, and then refuse to test is recognized for an additional 30 if seconds. If we allow people to say that and do that in these types of proceedings and then plead their fifth, we're making a mockery of the uh, justice system and making a mockery of the Fifth Amendment privilege uh, in this country. And lastly, I just say this. There's been some mention about uh, some groups, uh, liberal groups, being targeted. There are over 200 conservative groups audited and targeted and investigated in this investigation. I think there were three that might have been classified as liberal. It was so obvious what was intended by this, the IRS in this situation. And so I support this rule and support the underlying resolutions, and I yield back the balance of my time.